Hi, I'm Brandy, the Community MP. And I'm Brandy B, the Community MP. And today we're going to talk about diabetes. Okay. okay so diabetes is going to be like a two-part series because it's a pretty long topic. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do part one today and we'll do part two coming soon, okay? Yeah. So B, tell me what is the definition of diabetes. So the definition of diabetes is, well, it's basically, so all the cells in your body need sugar to work normally. Sugar gets into the cells with the help of the hormone called insulin. So if there's not enough insulin in your body, or if the body stops um, responding to insulin, the sugar builds up in the bloodstream, causing the blood, uh, the sugar levels to be high. So mm -hmm. that's basically what happens. Okay, okay. So when they say I check my blood sugar and the levels is high, the sugar is in the bloodstream. Right. Yep. So, okay, so that's why the numbers are high, but the sugar's in the blood. Okay, yep. okay, okay. So there's two different types of diabetes. There's mm -hmm. type one diabetes. The problem is usually with the pancreas, which one is one of the major organs yeah. of the stomach. So the pancreas just stops making insulin. So that's type one diabetes. Mm -hmm. So then we have type two diabetes. The body stops responding to the normal or even high levels of insulin. Mm -hmm. And over time, the pancreas does not make enough insulin right. to drive that sugar into the cells. Right. Okay. Yep. Type one is usually genetic, mm -hmm. and type two usually comes from our poor health choices, yeah. eating the wrong foods and <laughs> yeah. not exercising. Correct. And most um, most people that have diabetes are obese, but not not everybody. Oh no, yeah. 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 Um, sure. But yeah, so the poor health choices, you know, have are, I guess they've even started. Um, in kids, so we're starting to see a lot more kids with diabetes too. I heard you this morning. You had a kid that was diabetic this yeah. morning. I was mm -hmm. like, "Wow, okay." Yeah, I have a lot of kids. Um, so just some facts about diabetes. So, thirty-four point two million people wow. in the United States have diabetes, and in two thousand seventeen, the national um, cost in the U.S. was three hundred and. Twenty-seven billion dollars. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. So that's three hundred twenty-seven dollars um, spent on managing diabetes um, through, I guess, for everybody. Um, and then also two hundred and ten thousand Americans under the age of twenty. So this is where I was saying a bunch of kids are getting mm. diagnosed with diabetes. Um, were diagnosed with diabetes in, uh, I think it was. 20, I think it showed, 18. yeah, it, it showed 2018. And, and unfortunately, diabetes is the seventh leading cause of death in the United wow. States. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. And, and it, for the most part, unless, you know, you have the uh, type 1 diabetes, type 2 is usually uh, preventable. So this is a disease that 34.2 uh, million people have that could be prevented. Yes. Okay. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. <laughs> okay. So we're going to talk about some of the risk factors. Genetics, having a first degree relative, mom, dad, a sibling mm -hmm. with diabetes. Race, African Americans, Hispanic or Asian descent. Mm -hmm. Having some medical conditions like high cholesterol, high blood pressure can put you at risk. Yep. Obesity, which you said can put obesity, you at risk. Obesity, obesity, yes. obesity. Poor diet. Lack of exercise, mm -hmm. and also pregnancy, because sometimes people in, while they're pregnant they get gestational diabetes. Yeah, okay. and then after you know after they um, deliver or whatever, sometimes it goes away, but, but it does increase yeah. the risk for them to develop uh, diabetes. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. So some of the symptoms that you might notice if um, if you have diabetes, uh, you urinating frequently, mm. you feel very thirsty, you're hungry, you may notice changes in your vision. Um, so blurred vision, numbness, tingling in your hands or feet, mm -hmm. which is called neuropathy. Uh, you may feel tired, dry skin. One of the other things is um, like freak, having frequent infections. So you just keep getting infections, whether it's like skin or urinary tract infections and you don't know why. Um, so mm -hmm. always, you know, just follow up with your, your provider and let them know what symptoms you're having so that you can be tested for diabetes. So I had a patient who had um, kept getting yeast infections mm -hmm. and we didn't know why. Like yeah. she was like, I'm not sexually active. You know, I'm not douching. I'm not using these products mm -hmm. to give me these infections. Check the A1C. She was a diabetic. Oh, how high it? was very was it? high. It was like 14. Oh my gosh. Yes, it was yeah, high. That's almost off the scale. I know. Yeah. But that's the reason why she kept getting frequent yeast infections. Mm -hmm. Once we got her treated, 
No more yeast infections. Well, good. Yes. Good. Success story. Yes, yes, yes. So, and then, like, having sores that heal real slow. So, like, if you notice, like, oh, I got... Or you know, one other thing is like when they start to develop abscesses. A lot of mm. a lot of diabetics develop abscesses of the skin, and then um, they they just won't go away. You go to the doctor, get tested, and you find out you have diabetes. But yeah, so that's that's that. Okay, so what can we do to prevent diabetes? Type two diabetes. Exercise thirty to forty five minutes a day on most days of the week. Mm-hmm. So not just one or two days. Right. Yeah. Four or plus days mm-hmm. a week. Eat healthy. Mm-hmm. Avoid candy. Cookies, <laughs> cakes, sodas. <laughs> All right, your sugar content. Basically, you want to decrease your sugar content. Yeah. And also, I tell my patients that carbs usually break down into sugar. So mm-hmm. breads, pastas, break down into sugar. Mm-hmm. So we actually eat healthy carbs. Yeah. Brown rice and what's quinoa? Yeah, I never had that. Oh, I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I like quinoa. Oh. Yeah, and even um. Sweet potatoes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 Sweet potatoes. It's a healthy carb. Yeah. yeah. Not not the regular potatoes. So not, not the French one, fries. So not, not the sweet potato with the um cinnamon and a brown <laughs> sugar and, and a butter. Yeah. That's sweet no, potato. No. no. Oh, okay. So that's, that's how we cook it. Yeah. Okay. So no. We call it candy hams. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> not candy hams. <laughs> <Yeah. yams. laughs> sweet potatoes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, also, you want to maintain a healthy weight. You want to keep your BMI between eighteen and twenty-five. Mm-hmm. So your BMI is your body mass index. Basically, it's your weight and your height. It mm-hmm. is a calculation. So you want it between eighteen and twenty-five. Right. But yep. that's not like for everybody. Yeah. I, what I think is some our body frames are all different. Mm-hmm. So that that can you know that range can vary. Right. And it doesn't take into consideration like body mass. I yeah. mean, uh, like muscle mass or anything like that. So it's just a general it give you a general idea of where your weight should be. Yeah. So, some nutrition tips. Um, increase your water, fruits, and veggies. Now, some some fruits do have a lot of sugar in them. So, you don't want to just... When we say increase water, fruits, and veggies... Don't, don't eat five bananas a day. Yeah, don't eat five bananas a day. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, mangoes have a lot of sugar. Pineapples have a lot yes, of sugar. Yes, yes. So, um, yeah, eat, you can eat fruit, but don't overdo it. Just like with anything. You, The only thing you can overdo it with is veggies and water. We allow you to do that, okay? You eat all the veggies you want, drink all the water you want, we gonna be happy. Talk to somebody who only eat veggies. So <laughs> right. um, and then, you know, like change up some of the recipes that you, um, some some of the some of your favorite foods, change up the recipes, like what can they do? Instead of using uh, pasta, you can use spaghetti squash. Okay, yeah. Have you tried that? I tried that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, so that's... And, and the quinoa. Yeah. You can use that. Instead of like... Is that like a rice? I gotta it's it's kind of... It's, it's a grain. Okay. So, um, it, it is kind of like rice. So, a lot of people will eat quinoa over uh, like rice. Okay. So, I do... Um, instead of rice, sometimes we shred cauliflower. Okay, yeah. And make like yeah. a cauliflower rice and put yeah. the beans on top of that. Yeah. And then they have like cauliflower everything. They got like cauliflower pizza crust. Okay. Cauliflower okay. tacos. Um, But yeah, so... That's just some suggestions that, you know, you can do to change up some of your recipes. That way you don't feel like you're, you're, what am I trying to say? Yeah. Like you're missing out. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes you know, some people just want their food to taste good. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. You know, we want to get the kids involved. Yep. In shopping, cooking, making mm-hmm. healthier meals. Mm-hmm. Um, learn. To, we want to teach the kids how to read the food labels. Yep. And we're going to do a video on the food labels. Yeah, and yeah. How to we read totally the, that, that yeah, should that, that yeah. be coming. Okay. Have meals together. Mm-hmm. Sit at the dinner table away from the TV. Yeah. Put the cell phones down. Yeah. And focus on each other. Yeah, and focus on eating. So, yeah. So because when you eat like in front of the TV, then you're you're just eating and watching TV. By the time you know you you've ate a whole bag of chips. We've all done it, you know. But I like that because it gives the family time together yeah. also. I mm-hmm. miss those days. Do you? Yeah, we didn't have a cell phone. So yeah. my grandmother had it at the table. We all had to eat together. Yeah. So I miss those days. Okay. And then, you know, your baby's not in at home anymore. So you just... You so I'm in front of the TV, looking at TV, eating. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So don't um use foods as a reward. Okay, that's right, a yeah. good one. Tell yeah. me about that. Wow. For every, yeah. That's for kids? For everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> because, you I know, was trying to get out like, of that. Oh, I worked out so hard this week. And you know what? I'm just going to eat whatever I want to this weekend. I'm going to drink whatever I want to this weekend. So then you waste all that hard work. <laughs> and so, but yeah. So even for kids too, don't... um. Oh, you made a hundred on your test. Here's a Snickers, or okay. here's 
cookies, whatever, ice cream, cookies. Okay. Y'all, you know, kids can have that stuff occasionally, but don't use it as a reward. Oh. Okay, so I see one on here that says, don't force kids to clean their plates. Oh, my Serve God. Serve smaller portions. So growing up, you had to clean your yes, plate. You had to yes. eat everything that was on yeah. that plate. Yeah. Don't get up from this table until you get all that food. Yeah. <laughs> so you telling me, no, don't no, do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Just because... The kids end up overeating. Their stomachs start to expand. And then even with us, like, <laughs> now you don't have to. If, once you feel full, stop eating. Okay. Not, that's just what it is. Okay. okay. Drink water with your meals. Drink water before you eat. So that will make you feel mm-hmm. more full. Okay. Um, And then you'll eat less. One of my um, trainers told me a while ago, she told me to drink water 30 minutes before I eat. Mm-hmm. Then eat. Then mm-hmm. drink water. You know, yeah. Okay. So it takes some focus, but, you know, you can all do it. Okay. So exercise tips. The goal is 60 minutes of physical activity per day. Mm -hmm. Stay positive and focus on your progress. Yeah. Just look, it's going to be small steps. So just stay Mm -hmm. focused on that. Make it fun. Ride bikes. You can race. You can walk. Walk your dog. Mm -hmm. Take a fitness class. um, Join the kids with sports. Yeah. The the, the kids join a sports team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So those are like ways you can get your kids involved. Because, you know, if you're like, oh, let's walk the dog, then, you know. That's more exciting than just, let's go out here and exercise. Okay. So, make it sound good. You know, kids love for stuff to sound good. I said, turn chores into games. Now, how are you going to do that? Now, I don't know about that, turning the chores into games. I guess game. you can make them race, like, make the kids race on, like, cleaning their room. Oh, or, okay. okay. Um, Who washes dishes the fastest or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because that, that, that could be a disaster. Okay. But, um, but I like that, turn chores into games. That's a good idea. Yeah, so I think, like, with my kids, maybe I'd be like, um, Kaya, you mow. I mean, Kaya, you clean the inside. You vacuum all the floors and chance you have to mow. We'll see who gets done first. Okay, okay. I see. I like that. And okay. then you get a reward, but it won't be food. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. But, yeah. James. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for part one. So, basically, we just wanted to let you know, like, what it is, how to prevent it. This video is basically just an, um, to educate you guys on, like, what diabetes is, yes. how to prevent it. Our next video will talk about, like, the management. If you have diabetes, get in diagnosed, um, all the things that go along with it. So, stay tuned for that. Okay. So, remember to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. BNB the Community in Peace. Mm-hmm. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yep. BNB the Community in Peace. Mm-hmm. And what Instagram? Um, I saw them Instagram and Facebook. Okay, perfect. Yeah, all right, right, yeah, all right. And remember that community community is is our beauty. beauty. See you next week.